Hello everyone, today's lecture is about the enzymatic activities. So we want to study what are the factors that affect the activity of the enzyme. We want to know if the enzyme is working well, uh, if the enzyme is making complete digestion, partial digestion, or uh, no digestion uh, taking place. Let's solve uh, this exercise, which is about the enzymatic properties. In order to know whether the enzymatic activity is affected by many factors, the document below presents the conditions and the results of, the, of a performed experiment. So here we have, a, uh, here we have a, an experiment performed. Here we have a performed experiment. We have tube A, B, and C. Three tubes, A and B, uh, are placed at 37 degrees Celsius. Both of them contain trypsin, cube of egg white, but the variable factor is the chemical medium. So here, between A and B, the variable factor is the chemical medium. What about A and C? <coughs> Uh, a and C, they have the same chemical medium, which is basic chemical medium. Uh, both of them contain trypsin and the cube of egg white, but tube C contains ice, so the temperature, temperature of tube C is 0 degrees Celsius. So the variable factor between tube A and C is the temperature, which is 37 degrees Celsius in A and 0 degrees Celsius in C. And here we have the results after one hour. Oh, we have a mistake here. Uh, uh, results uh, one hour later okay so this is the result of how uh, these are the results of the experiment performed the experiment one uh, taken one hour later pose the problem at the at the origin of this experiment so you have to focus on the introduction uh, the problem is located here uh, what are uh, on the mistake what are the factors that affect uh, the enzymatic properties Okay, so what are the factors that affect the enzymatic properties? On in synonym to R. So what are the factors that affect the enzymatic properties? Or uh, is the in, in, uh, enzymatic activity affected by uh, by many factors or by some factors? Or factors? Question mark. Don't forget to put the question mark. Now we want to put to interpret the obtained results of tubes A and B so be careful the interpretation is only for tubes A and B uh, we have to to know what are the common conditions between A and B tubes A and B before starting the interpretation the common conditions in the trypsin cube of egg white 37 degrees Celsius okay uh, the variable factor is the chemical medium which is basic in uh, in tube A and acidic in tube B. If you don't write the variable factor, you will directly take zero. Uh, under the same conditions, trypsin cube of, an, uh, of egg white and 37 degrees Celsius. In tube A, at basic chemical medium, the cube of egg white disappeared. As you see here, the cube of egg white disappeared. While in tube B, at acidic chemical medium, the cube of egg white stays the same. So, variable uh, common conditions, comma variable factor of tube A, result of tube A, variable fa while variable factor of tube B, result of tube B. For as in the steps, you have to start by the common conditions, then tube A, variable factor of tube A, result of tube A, while Variable factor of tube B, result of tube B. For common conditions between tubes A and B. Variable factor of tube A, result of tube A. While variable factor of tube B, result of tube B. Thus, hey, we need to write a significance because it's not analysis, it's an interpretation. Thus, chemical medium. Uh, sorry, thus digestion takes place only in tube A at basic chemical medium and also we can write in note digestion doesn't take place in tube B at acidic chemical medium. Then conclude an enzymatic property. 
very easy the enzymatic property هي enhance enzymes act at uh, suitable هون at في عندي mistake كمان uh, enzymatic uh, enzymes act at a suitable chemical medium three formulate a hypothesis that explains the remaining of the cube of egg white in tube C at the end of, uh, of the experiment we have to predict or formulate a hypothesis why the cube egg in tube C stays the same at the end of the experiment or after one hour or one hour later look at the variable factor between A and C the temperature which is 0 degrees Celsius so the hypothesis not 10 is that if you don't write hypothesis you will come and get 0 the zero degree Celsius stops the activity of trypsin, stops the activity of trypsin, leading to the remaining of the cube of egg white in tube C undigested. As in leading to the cube of egg white undigested. Arif to keep, as in, mahadaiktibli sense here. Zero degree Celsius stops the activity of trypsin, leading to the remaining of a cube of egg white undigested. So we have no digestion in tube C because of the temperature zero stops the activity. Of pepsin, we can add here. Come in also question for, مثلا, what is the role of of tube A? Tube A, who it's a control tube that allows us to 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 study the role of the role of the or the effect of the temperature and chemical medium on the enzymatic activity. يعني from tube A, في عارف إنه الكيميكال ميديوم must be suitable to have digestion and between A and C we uh, tube A and C we need to know the temperature affects the uh, enzymatic activity so as in tube A is the return to reference the control tube tabano. we can analyze 1 and 2 يعني A and B and we can analyze A and C because we have one variable factor between a and B and we have only one variable factor between A and C but we can't make uh, analysis bet between tubes B and C B and C because they have two variable factors we have chemical medium we have temperature so can we make analysis of tubes B and C لا بدي يكون عطول في one variable factor تنعرف إنه عنا one conclusion rated لهيدا variable factor كمان هون فينا نقول indicate we can ask a question indicate a third enzymatic property which is not studied here in this experiment فينا نقول إنه each enzyme acts on on its specific substrate إذا بدنا نعمل experiment رابع to study the specificity of enzymes منحط tube C أو D sorry منحط tube D ومنحطه هون إذا بتكون بهيدا الووتر باث تاعت 37 درجة سيلسيوس منحط بقلب التيوب دي بيسك كيميكال ميديوم تريبسن 37 درجة سيلسيوس بس we don't add a cube of egg white ما منحط له بروتين من زد لليبتس for example okay أو ستارش وبتبقى مثل ما هي unchanged at the end يعني إذا أنا بدي if I want to study the specificity of enzymes إنه الإنزيم can digest only uh, it's a specific uh, substrate. Yani honey mean trypsin can digest only protein which is present in egg white. But trypsin can digest uh, starch if if I add masalan if I add uh, 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 bread here. If I put it with tube D bread, no digestion will take place because trypsin cannot digest the bread. Or if I I put in tube D. Uh, Olive oil, مثلا شقفة زيتونة ما بيقدر ما تربسن كانت digest the olive oil أو ال olive fruit sorry حيا الله شيء زيت أو زيت زيتون أو شقفة زيتون no digestion why حتى لو تركته عشر ساعات ومية ساعة no digestion because تربسن كانت digest the olive oil أو ال lipid اللي موجودين بال olive oil بيقدر يعمل digestion only for for its specific substrate. I hope you enjoyed uh, this lecture.